all learners in this tutorial i'm going to explain about the azure group storage so uh, first of all we will see what is a blob storage the blob storage is an acronym which stand for binary large objects blobs typically include large files that are unstructured such as images music files videos backups and etc now we will see what is the use cases of the blob storage so basically we can use storing files for shared access so if you want to share some files with among your organization then you can use the blob storage and if you want to uh, streaming your audio or video we can use that uh, azure web storage and also if you want to do some analysis based on your data you can store that data in the blob storage uh, or a data lake gen2 storage and also if you are maintaining any web or any other applications if you need to uh, write your log files you can use that uh, blob storage and also uh, you can store your data for disaster recovery backup or archiving requirements so that is the use cases of that uh, uh, blob storage uh, and also in the blob storage maintaining the flat, flat structure it means uh, you are creating a blob storage for a particular uh, account you can have the multiple containers and multiple and the same container you can't create uh, uh, new uh, containers so uh, under container you can create only the blobs so that is the uh, flat structure of the uh, blob storage so uh, now uh, uh, we will see the uh, the three types of the uh, blob storage basically we have the uh, uh, block blobs append blobs and page blocks first of all we will see uh, what is block blobs uh, as suggested by the name block blobs are made of blocks each block has block has a block id blocks can be uh, the different sizes potentially up to maximum 4.7 tb the block uh, uh, clients are sent to 32 mb size block by default so but if you want to configure that amount you can configure using the single block up, blob upload thresholds in bytes property so uh, that is about the uh, block blobs then we will see the uh, append blocks the append blocks are used to append data basically this means that each time you make change to the block that data will be append at the end of the block the data cannot be changed or delete only append so that is uh, very important when we are uh, logging your web log or keep uh, historical informations with the up latest information so you can use that append block the next one is the page blobs the page blobs contains out of pages a page is 512 bytes 512 bytes and the blobs can be up to 1 tb in the size and also this is typically used for fast read and write operations so if you want to uh, execute if you want to uh, execute some uh, OLTP systems then you can use that uh, page blob so that is about the uh, blob storage so now we will see how to uh, create a blob storage in the Azure platforms by uh, yeah uh, and uh, how to create containers and how to upload that uh, excel files and images into the blob storage in the next uh, mm -hmm. section now we will see how to create the blob storage in the azure portal so in my previous video i have explained you how to create a azure storage under azure storage uh, by default it has created the uh, containers means blob storage file shares queues and the table so uh, in my screen right uh, left hand side you can see these uh, data storage components so uh, again uh, if i go to the home you can uh, see my storage account i will click on this then uh, if i click on the storage browser preview mode uh, menu then you can see the available storage types so you can see uh, uh, blob story blob, blob containers file shares tables and queues so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a blob storage under uh, uh, blobs uh, container so first of all uh, we have a default uh, blog file uh, i'm not going to touch that file so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new container uh, to add my images 
for this uh, blob storage for that i have to click on this add container button then uh, it will pop up the uh, new container and give the name my name will be uh, images okay so uh, then uh, i uh, hit on the create button then successfully uh, it will create the storage content so now we have created the container for the blob, uh, blob storage then i open this container then uh, you can see if you want uh, you can create some virtual directories but you can't create any uh, containers as i explained earlier so uh, for this container we i can upload the uh, images so uh, to upload you can click on this upload button then i will show you how to upload your image so uh, click on this upload button then uh, you can browse your file from here so i will click on this yeah it will uh, go to this one then you can see i am going to uh, upload the uh, image my image is azure blob storage png so uh, you can see uh, that uh, upload button has enabled then click on that then uh, it will uploading uploading uh, the successful uploaded blobs message received then uh, you can close this button and you can Upload. now you can see my uh, png file has uploaded okay so uh, that is about it then uh, if i click on this then you can get the uh, details of that uh, images which i have uploaded in here you can see the url so if you want uh, you can access that url you can access that image through this url and so in addition to that uh, you have it has some a lot of information so uh, now we will see how to access my uh, uh, image through the url so to copy that uh, url you have to click on this button uh, copy to clipboard so i will click on that then you can open a new uh, tab and uh, paste that uh, url then you can see there will be an error the reason is we don't have the, the specified resource does not take this it means actually we haven't given access uh, the we haven't uh, given the access uh, to open this uh, file so now uh, we will see how to give the access okay so uh, for that uh, close this one and uh, you can see uh, uh, for this file you can change the access level from this button so i will click on this button and uh, you can change the access level so uh, as of now it is a private no anonymous access so i will change to blob anonymous read access for blobs only so i will put this uh, uh, option and click ok so you can see uh, successfully change the access level for containers after that if i uh, refresh my uh, earlier tab it will take a few seconds now you can see uh, now you can access that png file so I think uh, now uh, you can view the blob storage data. Likewise, we will create another uh, container and uh, we'll upload some Excel file uh, for the same container. For that, I will uh, add a container. Uh, my container name will be uh, Excel. Okay, so uh, I will create this Excel uh, container. So uh, for this container, I'm going to uh, upload a excel file like earlier you can browse the file then uh, i have the excel file so click on that then we can upload yeah now successfully we have uploaded so if you want to rename this file you can rename you can clone you can download and create snapshots lot of operations we can do so in here i'm going to rename that one uh, my file name will be uh, excel underscore data this is my file so i rename so uh, you can see quickly it has renamed as the excel data dot slx again we will see uh, how to access that access file through the uh, url so to get the url i will click on this and uh, get the url so i copy uh, to clipboard but click on the copy copy to clipboard then open a new tab and 
paste that URL. Again, uh, that uh, file's uh, specified resource does not exist. It means we don't have the proper access. Again, what I'm going to do is I go to this storage uh, browser and select the uh, relevant uh, relevant uh, blob and uh, give the permissions for that. Okay, so I select that particular Excel file, then change access level. Click on that uh, change access level then uh, change from private to blob anonymous and click ok okay after that i will refresh this window then you can see it will uh, enable the uh, download options you can see that excel data xls has downloaded successfully if you want you can open or else you can point to the any other application like power bi or azure data factory or uh, any other third party application so uh, that is about the Azure Blob Storage and also uh, if you want to share that uh, files with others you should have that uh, uh, access keys so uh, you can get that access key through this access keys menu and uh, yeah, by click on that uh, you can get that access keys you can show your keys by click on this one and you can copy these keys and successfully they can access through this key uh, so that is about the uh, Azure blob storage so uh, if you have any questions you can put on the comment sections and you can share with your friends so in the next video i will show you how to create a, a simple pipeline to get Azure blob storage data into the uh, uh, Azure SQL server so uh, thank you